Intercom TV presents the How To Show, and here with this week's project is your host, Jason Hamilton. Hello, and welcome to the How To Show. Today, we're going to learn how to make slime using everyday materials that, you can, be, that can be found in your household. I've got them all lined up here. We've got borax is what the first thing you're going to need is, water, a measuring cup, napkins because it gets a little messy. Uh, I've got dye here that you can buy at the store. It's like a four pack. There's red, blue, green, and yellow. Uh, you need four bowls for what we're doing today because we're going to make two different batches. And you need three spoons. And I've got the borax in a separate bowl just because it's easier to get out. And you can make the different slimes with either the transparent glue or the white glue. And the first thing you're going to need to do is get the borax and put a little bit, little less than a full spoon into two of the bowls, like so. And you're going to need to put a cup of water in each one of those bowls. So let me get that measured out. You're going to want to pour that in there with that and do it again with the other bowl. Pour it in there, and then you're going to want to mix it up with one of the spoons. Just use the same spoon for both of them. That way you don't get the, the other stuff in there and it starts to slime up on the spoon. And then in the other bowl, you're going to want to put the glue. You can just empty out the whole thing in there. It doesn't have to be completely, completely empty, but for the most part, just get it all out of there. And then in the other bowl, put the transparent glue. They both come out different, so you'll see the difference when we get done. Like I said, it can be a little bit messy. So in those bowls, you're going to put half a cup of water, around half a cup of water anyways. And then you can add the coloring to whichever one you want. On this one, I'll probably use the green. Just put as much as you want in there. The more you put, the darker it'll be. And then the other one, I'll put the yellow, which looks red, but I hope it comes out yellow. And then that's when you're going to want to use the other spoon to stir this. Make sure it's good and stirred up, otherwise it won't come out just right. You take as much time as you need on it. Kind of wipe it off so you don't spread the colors. Make sure you have plenty of napkins around here because like I said, it gets very, very messy. And this is something that the kids around the holiday times, it'd be good for them just because they're around and they get in the parents' heads and they're just a nuisance some of the times with the two weeks they're off. And so what you're going to want to do after that is you're going to pour one of them into the other. I'd usually pour the water into the, into the uh, glue because it kind of sticks, the glue does, to the bowl. It's easier to pour the water out. And then... Uh, and when you pour those in there, you're going to stick them. You're going to want to stick them, or you want to pour it in there, and then you want to stir it up a little bit, and it'll it'll start mixing. But when we come back, when we come back, I'll show you how to do it. Is your dog always sad, depressed, and tired of carrying extra weight around? Well, that's why there's Chunky Chow to help your furry friend shed some pounds and restore his health. Winston, come get your Chunky Chow. After just one bowl of Chunky Chow, you can see significant improvements in your four-legged friend. Chunky Chow, available at all major retailers nationwide. Look for Chunky Chow on your next visit to the store. Welcome back. 
before the show ended, before, before the commercial break, I just had to finish mixing the two bowls together. Now let's finish up. All right, with the first one, we're going to pour the water into the yellow. And usually it instantly starts to turn into the, the slime. So you can just kind of mix it together a little bit. And it'll start getting more and more gooey, I guess you could say. Yeah, there it is. Okay. <laughs> like I said, it's very, very messy. Now, you just reach in there. This is the messy part. You just reach in there and you start pulling it out. Just mix it, mixing it together a little bit more and more. And see, it's real slimy and nasty and whatnot. And like I said, this is something good for the kids to do on the Christmas break. Uh, I know they're sitting at home bored and they're getting their parents' hair. They got two weeks off from school. They have nothing better to do. But who doesn't want to make slime, right? I mean, it's just fun, right? And so you want to get that out. And once you pull it out, it turns more solid and doesn't get so gooey and nasty. All right. Let me get this hands cleaned off real quick. Now on this other one, I want to show you how hard it is to get the glue out into the, into the regular. You got to scrape it all out. It's just a lot easier to mix the two together in the original glue bowl. That way you don't have to scrape the sides and it just takes a little bit more time. I mean, it just depends on how much time you have on your hands on whether you want to do that or not. And in the bowls, there's, there's always going to be extra water left around, so make sure you have somewhere you can dump that, preferably not the sink, because I learned the first time I did it that it'll clog the drain, and you don't want to do that, because then you have to call maintenance. And so... What you do with this is the same thing. You just reach in there. This is a lot more gooier. I don't know what the difference is with the glue, but the transparent glue tends to make it a lot more thick and not so gooey. So I think this would probably be a little bit better for the kids rather than the, rather than the other yellow right there because it's definitely not as, definitely, well, maybe it's a little bit more stickier, but it's not as messy. And you just put that, I just put it back into the glue bowl. And so... <laughs> Well, I've got a lot of glue on my hands, so let me get this off here real quick. Now, like I said, you can mix all the colors together and make it whatever color you want to make it. I've got two other examples over here that came out a little bit better the first time I did it. It just depends on how you do it, and you get better as you go. But here's a blue one that I made, and here's a red one right here. And you can see this is the transparent glue. This is the regular plain Elmer's white glue that you used as your kid. And as, let me go over the ingredients again. This is 20 mule borax. You can find it just about anywhere you go. I found mine at Walmart down the cleaning aisle. Uh, if you're at home, you don't need this just because it's the water. You need a measuring cup. And what you want to do with the measuring cup, make sure with the glue you pour half a cup of water. With the borax, you want a full cup. Otherwise, it doesn't come out right. And you need, or you don't have to have it, but it's nice to have the coloring. It just makes it more fun. You can put it in there, mix up, uh, mix it up. I've got the four different colors here, but you can mix the colors, make it different colors. I know people like to make them pink, so the girls can make them pink. Uh, and like I said, it's just regular Elmer's glue, regular white Elmer's glue, or you can have the transparent regular just Elmer's glue as well. Um, you can, you can, um, you need the spoons, you need the spoons, and it's easier to get the borax out of here just because it's hard to pour the borax out of that box into a spoon, so it'd be best to do that. Uh, and here's the two other colors, and like I said, make sure you have plenty of napkins because it's very, very messy. Like I said, I still got, still got goo all over my hands, and it's, it's a really messy thing, but it's definitely something you can do with the kids on the holidays. So thank you again, and I'll see you next time.